This video covers top 12 research papers related to text to image AI research starting from 2016, research paper from 2017, research paper from 2018, and the research paper from 2020. After that, this video covers three different research paper from 2021 and in 2022 till now this video is going to discuss the five very important research papers all related to text to image ai research in this video we are going to cover the main contribution from each of these research paper to text to image ai research the various implementations for the research papers if available as well as some of the examples why these research papers are significant among others hello everyone my name is avkash and if you have any or the significant interest in text to image research these 12 research papers are going to be very helpful for you to learn and make yourself expert in the field of text to image AI research. In this video, we are going to cover three things specific to every research paper which we are going to review here. First, we will look why a particular research paper is important specific to text to AI research. Second, we are going to look the various GitHub implementations for every research paper. Some research paper may have one or more implementations and some may not have any implementation in the public domain. And finally, or the third thing which we are going to cover specific to every research paper is what one important thing this particular research paper is contributing towards our text to image AI research. So let's get ourselves started the very first research paper which we are going to cover here was released in 2016 topic generating images from captions with attention in this research paper the attention neural networks or the attention networks were used to generate images from the natural language descriptions such as a yellow school bus parked in the parking lot or a vintage photo of a dog or a bowl of bananas is on the table. This is the first time where the power of text to image AI models was seen by the world through the composition of natural language processing and the attention networks. After the significant popularity of attention networks, in 2017, the research paper titled Fine-Grained Text-to-Image Generation with Attentional Generative Adversarial Networks was released in November 2017. In this research paper, the attention models or the attention neural networks were implemented together with generative adversarial networks or the GAN and the implementation of attention GAN was released to the public. By 2017, the power of generative adversarial networks has already been seen in various objectives such as generating images or generating text by combining the attention networks and the generative adversarial networks and proposing the attention GAN or attentional generative adversarial networks was the first approach to allow attention driven multi-stage refinement for the fine grain text to image generation. The power of attention GAN model was to synthesize the fine grained details at the different subregions of the image by paying attention to the relevant words in the natural language description. The combination of text encoders to process the text 
into the natural language processing framework and by passing the request to the attentional generative networks and at the last using the image encoder to generate the final image output was the significant advance in this attention plus GAN based neural network model. In 2018, the variational autoencoders or the VAE has been improved through the VQ or the vector quantized variational autoencoders with the introduction to the codebook in the latent space was introduced through the research paper titled Neural Discrete Representation Learning, which made significant contribution to our text to AI research. The autoencoders were already popular to transform the source data and then regenerate the source data by the combining the encoder and decoder neural network adding the vector quantized or the vq method to learn a discrete latent representation with the combination of codebook created a new form of variational autoencoder named vector quantized variational autoencoder i have created a very good series on vq vae so if you have interest, please do visit these two YouTube video to learn more about VQ VAE. In 2020, a new way to generate images from the text AI was proposed through the denoising diffusion probabilistic models title or the introduction to diffusion models to generate images from the text. The diffusion models had significant improvement over the GAN or the autoregressive models for generating images through text. With this research paper, the diffusion models were introduced to generate images from the text prompt. The idea behind this research paper was to take the source data and add lots of noise to it and finally the image or the source data convert to the complete noise and then using the reverse diffusion process to use noise based data as the source and generate the source image. The diffusion probabilistic models uses the a progressive lossy decompression scheme to interpret as the generalization of autoregressive decoding. The original implementation of the research paper was also available at this GitHub repo. Besides that, several other representations or the implementations of the diffusion probabilistic models has been seen as listed here. In 2021, the research paper title Zero Shot Text to Image Generation was released and in this research paper the text to image generation was based on a transformer that auto regressively models the text and image tokens as a single stream of data. The Zero Shot Text to Image Generation research paper was the foundation to the OpenAI DALI one or the original DALI text to image generation research where a transformer is used with the combination of variational autoencoder and the combination of these two auto regressively models the text and the image tokens as a single stream of data. The open source implementation of the DALI original by OpenAI is available for both the decoder and the encoder at the GitHub here. In the same year, June 2021, the research paper titled Diffusion Models Beat Gains on Image Synthesis made significant improvement to the text-to-image AI research where 
it was proven that the diffusion models are far better in generating images from the text rather than using autoregressive or the GAN based models. The reason diffusion models were doing better comparative to other methods is that the diffusion models could build learning model which can learn the systematic decay of information due to noise. Then it was possible to reverse the process and recover the information back from the noise. This concept was similar to variational autoencoder, however, instead of learning the data distribution, the diffusion model was aiming to model a series of noise distribution and decode the data by denoising the data in a hierarchical fashion. In the same year, the VQ VAE or the vector quantized variational autoencoder based AI model was proposed through this research paper title Taming Transformers for High Resolution Image Synthesis in which the very first time we learn the approach of using vector quantized variational autoencoders and GANs together to generate images based on text prompts. It means the research in 2018 related to vector quantized variational autoencoder proved significant in generating text to image AI models through the combination of VQVAE and the generative adversarial networks or the GAN. With this research paper, the combination of VQVAE vector quantized variational autoencoder and the GAN generative adversarial network was introduced where the generator part of GAN is replaced by the vector quantized variational autoencoder and the discriminator part of the GAN was used to generate the image by combining the decoder part of the variational autoencoder I have created a three part series related to VQ GAN, which is very useful to learn the concept behind VQ GAN. The original implementation of VQ GAN, you can find at this repo and there are several other implementations can also be found related to VQ GAN. By 2022, the very first research paper in March 2022 titled Make a Scene, Scene-Based Text-to-Image Generation with Human Priors proposed a novel way to generate text to images by enabling a simple control mechanism complementary to the text in the form of scene. The idea behind this research paper was to create complex scene with various component altogether by generating text and the scene tokens and adding vector quantized image encoder and decoders. This research paper was also based on VQVA transformer based AI model to generate images from the text. This research paper introduced several new capabilities such as scene editing, text editing with anchor scenes, overcoming out of distribution text prompts, story illustration generation as demonstrated in the story written by the researchers. In the same year, the research paper titled Towards Photorealistic Image Generation and Editing with Text Guided Diffusion Models or the Glide AI models were introduced by OpenAI and this implementation was the significant implementation by the OpenAI which opened the door for DALI 2 model which was using the diffusion methods to generate images from the text. This research paper was the precursor to DALI 2. After the success of DALI 1 which was based on VQVAE the Glide from OpenAI 
used the diffusion models to generate images from the text. The code implementation of the Glide by OpenAI can also be found here. The next research paper titled High Resolution Image Synthesis with Latent Diffusion Model was another way to use the diffusion models and generate images based on text prompts. After the success of diffusion models beating the other GAN or autoregressive or the VQVA transformer based model, this research paper introduced the image generation with the latent diffusion models which has the optimized process to generate images by improving the training and the inference capabilities over the available hardware sources such as GPUs. The next research paper titled Hierarchical Text Conditional Image Generation with Clip Latents proved the success of contrasty models like Clip with the combination of diffusion models to generate images based on text prompts. This research paper from the OpenAI took the diffusion models to the next level by combining various previous research including clip latents to generate conditional image generation from the text prompts. Based on this research paper, various DALI 2 variants were created such as DALI Mini and DALI Mega including the RU DALI or the RU DALI. The open source implementations for both RU DALI is available here as well as the open source implementation and the models for the DALI Mini and DALI Mega you can find at this open source GitHub repo or this Hugging Face car. The last model which we are covering in this video is the Contrastive Learning for Text to Image Generation or XMC GAN where the significant interaction between the text and the image was addressed. Even in 2022, while the diffusion models has already proven significant improvement in generating images from the text, the GAN based text to image research was not slowed down and with this XMC GAN or the cross model contrastive generative adversarial network based research paper showed the significant improvement on all other GAN based text to image models by adding more improvements to the existing GAN based text to image models. This research paper was produced by the Google and the code implementation for XMC GAN is also available which could interest for anyone who are interested into the GAN based text to image generation research. The content covered in this video is available at this DeepWorks GitHub repo from my ProdRamp account in this 12 research papers folder for you to follow. At last, we could say that the text to image generation through four different ways. First, autoregressive models. Second, GAN based AI models. Third, VQ, VA and the transformer based model. And the fourth, diffusion models has been covered in these 12 research papers which we have discussed here. Besides these, there could be several other research papers which can also be reviewed to learn more about it. However, what I found that these 12 research papers have significant contribution to the text to image AI research. After the research paper review, I would request you to please check out my YouTube channel where I have covered various text to image AI research content implementations and examples for you to follow. If you like the content, please feel free to share and subscribe it. I do appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.